Hey there. In the last video, I gave you some great news. Listening is the highest priority skill to master first in language acquisition, and it's also the easiest to practice. Today, I'm going to give you eight great types of sources for you to practice your listening. So here we go. Number one, songs to sing along with. I love songs in language acquisition for a variety of reasons. And two of the biggest ones are that they make repetition enjoyable and they make the transition from passive knowledge to active proficiency very smooth. When you learn a new song, words and expressions that were completely unfamiliar to you soon become, they go into your subconscious and before you know it, you're singing along, you're singing by yourself, and then you're using those words and expressions in your own speech. Number two, great cinema. So cinema is a sure and extremely enjoyable way to boost your language acquisition. I need to say no more. Only that I recommend as much as possible watching movies that were made originally in a language you're studying because that's a fantastic window to the associated culture. And as I'll always point out, culture and language are closely linked. Number three, addictive series. So series, whether they be Netflix series, HBO, whatever they are, they're, they're one of the most popular ways nowadays for students to practice their listening comprehension. And they should be because they make improving your listening skills just an ease. Because who doesn't like to sit back, relax to a great series? And, and they're made to be addictive, right? So you start marathoning on them and before you know it, you, your listening comprehension is going through the roof. So make, you know, take full advantage of the addictive power of series. Number four, endless YouTube videos. So this is similar, but the thing about YouTube is that there's just endless videos. It's like 500 hours of videos are uploaded per, I don't know if it's per minute or per second. It's just a huge, huge amount. And so you can find uh, videos on YouTube about anything under the sun, anything that you're interested in. And then going back to the point I made about reading, you want to kill two birds with one stone, right? So when you're interested in learning about something and just relaxing and watching a video about whatever topic that you love or that you need to know more about, search for it on YouTube for, in the language that you're studying. Another tip is you can use the YouTube algorithm in your favor. This has been helping me in my French. You know, you click on a video, you enjoy it. Before long, YouTube is recommending a whole bunch of other ones intelligently that meet your interests as well. So just run with it, and it's a great way to practice your listening. Okay, we're on number five, news, radio, and television. So again, in the reading series of videos, I told you to become a news junkie in the language you're studying. We'll do that not only with reading, but also with listening. So if you prefer television, and on, my, on the actual blog post, you can find some links where you can learn about television stations and radio stations all over the world. So again, whether you prefer television or radio, get your news in written form and in audio form in the language that you're studying. And I want to give a little anecdote here, a personal testimony. I learned French when I was 12 years old, and for the next 30 years, I pretty much have never practiced. Well, with a few exceptions, but I'll go years without really practicing French. And so it was going downhill, downhill over the years. And around, I don't know, 2005 or so, I discovered Radio France Internationale, that's International French Radio. And it became my favorite news source. And, you know, I would listen maybe just two or three times a week for 10 minutes to the news summary. And that was enough to stop the bleeding, to stop the, the, the downward spiral of my French. And even, you know, single-handedly improve it a bit. And then when I came back to studying French more seriously uh, for the first time in, well, about eight months ago, uh, it was at a, you know, a decent level historically for my French. And it just gave me a great basis and I continue to this day enjoying listening to French radio. And it works wonders for my French. Okay, number six, podcasts about your passion. So we're in the golden era of podcasts. There's podcasts uh, on endless subjects, you know, whatever you're interested in, 
search for it. I gave give some tips in the post for you to find the podcast that you're interested in and make it a, make it a habit. You know, find one or two that you love and make a habit of listening to them. And by the way, if you're studying English, if you're not a native speaker of English, I highly recommend the Natural English Podcast where you'll get a lot of motivation to continue on your journey towards a mastery of the English language and also you'll learn about uh, many different careers. It's a really fun listen. Number seven. Number seven, audiobooks for immersion. So as I've said before, if I had to recommend just one single approach to language acquisition, it would be through literature. Read classic, wonderful literature. Listen to the audiobooks. Here's the key point. And then uh, write about what you've read and listened to and also speak with a native speaker about it. So if you're not doing audiobooks, you must start. They are really one of the most enjoyable and rich and fantastic resources for language acquisition, audiobooks. And lastly, number eight, natural integrated homework assignments. So check out on our platform, we have for our four different languages that we currently teach at different levels, homework assignments that include not only listening, but so you have a listening component, but it's integrated with a reading assignment and a writing assignment. And if you don't find something that you like, if you don't find something specific that you're looking for there, well, just shoot me a message and we'll produce it for you. Okay. So that's an invitation there. Check it out. Next, next uh, video. I am going to talk about how to practice listening at each level of proficiency, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced in the language that you're studying. So I'll see you next time.